Hey everyone, this is Stellar Firefly, and this is a brief tutorial about how to set the game time, or more technically, the in-game time zone, on your DayZ server. The steps and values shown in this tutorial will be specific examples from a GTX gaming server setup, but the general idea may be applied to any standard DayZ server. Let's begin. The configuration file that we need to edit for the game time is the hivext.ini file. So head over to your TC Admin Control Panel and shut down your server if necessary. We're going to make some changes, and we can't make changes to a running server. Then, click on the Configuration Files icon, and find the hivex.ini file in the list. The description says it's used to edit your MySQL database password, because it is, but your server time settings are hidden in there as well. The trick to getting at them is to not click on the Configuration Editor link, but instead, click on the text editor link. This will open up the text editor and give us access to the entire file. The three settings that we're interested in are at the very top. You can see that by default, the type is set to static, the offset is set to zero, and the hour is set to 10. Using these default values, the server will set the in-game time to 10 a.m. after every single server restart. If you have automatic restart set up for the usual six to eight hour cycle or so, then this is why you probably never see nightfall on your server. It restarts before night falls, and when the server comes back up, it's 10 a.m. again in the game. Older DayZ players may remember seeing servers follow the real world clock, where the game time actually followed real time, usually based upon whatever time zone the server was located. If you'd like your server to do that, then you could set the type to local. This setting will ignore whatever values are used for the offset and hour fields, and it will set the in-game time to the server's local time. Some possibly important notes, though. First, this local time is not affected by your account's time zone setting. You may have heard me say in other video tutorials that GTX Gaming recommends you set your account time zone to UTC to avoid confusion because things external to the TC Admin Control Panel may not recognize your time zone. And yes, the DAISY server itself is one of those things. So no matter what you've set as your account's time zone, the DAISY server will use its own time zone setting, and all GTX gaming servers are set to UTC. So setting your type to local is, well, it's almost like setting it to UTC. I say almost because of this second note. Setting the type to local also follows DST, or Daylight Saving Time. So, if you play on your server during the summer, then it'll actually be running on BST, or British Summer Time, which is an hour ahead of UTC. But, eh, most people don't care, it's close enough. Now what if you want your game time to follow real time, but you want it to follow your own local real time? To do that, set the type to Custom, and then set the offset to whatever is your local time zone's offset. For example, I'm personally in the Pacific time zone, so my PST offset is minus eight. Or if I wanted it to reflect the fact that it's currently summer, that I'm in daylight saving time, and it's minus seven. Either way, I could set it to a, either a minus eight or a minus seven value for the offset. That way, whenever it's daylight for me, it will also be daylight on my server. Of course I can set my server to any time zone in the world just by using a different value for the offset. You want to set your server to Moscow time? Change the type to custom and change your offset to four. The third option is to set the type to static, which you may recall was the default setting. When you set to a static time, the game looks at the value of the hour setting and then it sets the clock to this hour after every single restart. That's why, by default, your server always reset itself to 10 a.m. The default settings were a type of static and an hour of 10. Note that the hour value is on a 24-hour clock, so if you wanted to always set your game to 10 p.m. after every restart, then you would set the hour to 22. One good use of the static type is to balance the amount of day and night for each restart. For example, let's say you restart your server every eight hours. What you can do is set your type to static, and then set your hour to 16. With those settings, your server will always be set to 4 p.m. after it restarts, but then it won't restart again until it reaches almost midnight in the game. So in between every restart, your players will have some daytime and some nighttime to play in. If you make use of this little trick, then there's one extra thing that you should keep in mind. 
The time of day that night falls in the game may change depending on the map. This is especially obvious on the Namalsk map. While the Shernaris map gets dark at, I think, maybe around 7 or 8 p.m., the Namalsk map starts getting dark much sooner than that. So you may have to adjust your starting hour based on when night falls on your map, if you want a good balance of both daytime and nighttime. And that's about it for setting up your in-game time. Just set your hivex.ini file to whatever settings you prefer, and then don't forget to press the Save button at the very top. And one more thing to watch out for. If you ever click on the Configuration Editor link next to the hivex.ini file, then it will actually reset your time zone settings back to the defaults of static and hour 10. So be sure to set them back to your custom values. Thank you all for watching. Please like or subscribe if you feel so inclined, and I hope that this tutorial was helpful to you. And as always, good luck, have fun, and watch your back.